Are there any techniques a writer can employ to generate a great premise? Well, yeah, that goes back to, you know, what I was talking about, like attack as a storyteller and to, you know, have a sense of adventure or even depth because, you know, a sense of adventure makes it sound like, you know, you're writing some great, you know, action comedy that knocks everybody's socks off. But a sense of adventure can be like a riveting drama or, a, you know, a, a tragedy that no one will ever forget for the rest of their life or a completely harebrained, goofy comedy, you know, that's like just off the deep end. So it's just thinking big and <clears throat> going for the roots of what makes people tick and what transforms people and what kind of situations are compelling and what has entertainment value and what's been done to death and what's fresh. So it's really a conglomerate of attack as a storyteller, experience with what tends to work, reading, constantly reading great scripts and pushing the envelope, but also connecting with the average member of the audience. You know, one of the things I talk about in terms of dilemma, but it's applicable in many different arenas is that once you get your story up and running and you've got something, you can go like, okay, here it is. And it, it can be dilemma or anything, but one of my fundamental questions is, okay, now that I've got this up and running, one of the things I wanna do is in my imagination, pick somebody that lives down the street who might be a plumber or an orthopedist or a CEO of a company and like, can they connect to this story? Because if your average Joe doesn't connect to the story you've created, then it's kind of dead in the water in a certain way. And, you know, one of the, one of the key things, one of the intermediate steps in terms of looking at the person that lives across the street and trying in your own imagination to say, would they, do they care about this? Is looking at the way in which, how do you care about it? And, and in what way does it grab you? And you may find, well, you know, actually, if this main character did this and this, I would care a whole lot more actually. And, and being able to ground yourself more in the material, in the strength of the material, and the universality of the material, that can help you then look at the plumber down the street who's coming into the movies on a Saturday night with his family and expecting a fun ride or a riveting adventure and you know, trying to make sure that your average Joe can relate to it and care about it and so on. So that goes into it too. I hope that answers your question. It's not an easy question because it's different for every writer and there are definitely trip, tricks and tips to doing that, but they're all just things that you pick up as you go along and incorporate into your process so that you have the storytelling chops to be thinking adventurously, no matter what the genre, and the skill, the, the ability to turn a professional critical eyeball onto your material and go, you know, I had fun creating it and I think it's great, but it's not cutting it yet. So maybe it goes on the shelf or maybe you just throw it away.